I am the director of marketing. I do do something at the association. I do, do Besides work. being his child. Right? Besides <laughs> being his child. Uh, I do do work. And um, I'm the director of marketing. I will preface all this by saying that um, you're looking at probably the, the foremost leaders in pharmacy in the state of Missouri. You're looking at two people in particular that, that are affecting policy more than anybody else in the state as far as pharmacy goes. When you see them, you're not just seeing a couple of pharmacists that own businesses. They, they are the reason why you have a practice act. They're the reason why you can focus on clinical things while you're getting your education. They're the reason why uh, um, Missouri is really ahead of the pack as far as reimbursement, as far as uh, the clinical ability of pharmacists in this state. And um, when you look at them, you're not just seeing somebody who's out there doing um, pushing pills. You're seeing people that are affecting pharmacy that will one day be your profession. When you go out, um, how you practice and your ability to practice is based on what they're doing at the Capitol. And they've done a great job, and thanks to their foresight and their leadership and, and really my, my dad and how he's led the association, we have some really great things going on in Missouri that other states are asking us, how did you make that happen? Um, so uh, when, you, when you look at it, you realize, and I'm not just trying to float our boat here in the association, but we're doing some great things for you as students. And, and we really need, and it's not going to happen anymore if you guys aren't involved. And that's why we're here, is to get you guys involved and realize the importance of being involved with the association. So that's, uh, on a leadership level, that's why we're important. Um, also, the communication side, that's kind of that's what, uh, what I'm involved in, mostly the marketing side. And, and getting things that are interactive out there for students and our members. We have a lot of exciting things. One's a new website. I don't know if any of you have been there, but um, it's, it's really... Uh, kind of a, a, a neat site. It's a lot different than our old one. If you remember the old one, the old one was very outdated. <coughs> we actually stated at many points that I think it was the first website ever created. And, um, <laughs> and that kind of gives you uh, uh, a view of how, how old it was. <coughs> Excuse me. So we have a new website. We, we do a lot of new media stuff, a lot of social media stuff. Um, we're on Twitter, on, on Facebook. You can find us very easily on those things. Anybody have a Twitter account in here? I know, I think Scott does. Any, do any, of you proficient, any of you really proficient at Twitter? Like, you love doing it, you spend time on there? Can send out, send out a tweet real quick for us. Oh, nice. Well, send out a tweet for us and, re and uh, respond to us. But we're um, twitter.com slash the NPA. Uh, you can find us on there. And we give. The, the benefit to that to a lot of people is to see updated information on what's going on in the Capitol specifically. Because when I'm in a committee hearing or we're, in, we're watching a vote happen on the floor, I'll tweet really quick, hey, our bill just got passed or something that we're watching has failed or, or whatever, and I'll send it out so you guys know immediately, well, do I need to contact my legislator? Do I need to, um, <clears throat> this is good to know now so I know how to take action right now to help what's going on. Um, so that's kind of neat. Facebook, we have a fan page. It's facebook.com slash Missouri Pharmacy. Um, and, and there we try to do updates on events we've got coming up. We try to, uh, even the other day, I remember putting on something about one of our pharmacist members. Had, it, was, it was his birthday. Um, and so, you know, we try to be interactive as best we can on many, different, in, on many different levels. So we try to reach you where you are rather than try to bring you into where we are. Uh, we think that's been very effective in the last... Um, last little while. Uh, we are going green with our magazine. Um, I know a lot of you, all of you as students, you don't get a paper copy of our magazine. You basically get it emailed to you and you can open it up as a PDF. Well, we are, for our members, we send out a, an actual copy. Um, but what we're going to do after this next issue, we're going to send out a lot electronic version and a paper copy this next time. Um, and then after that, it'll be all electronic. Um, one saves paper, it saves cost, it saves the environment. Those are all important things to us. Um, but this new magazine is really exciting because we're, we're finding an opportunity to put interactive media in that magazine. So when you go onto the magazine, you can click on links, you can click on videos, and maybe some audio, and different things that will kind of pull you into the magazine rather than having to read all this stuff on your computer, which sometimes is, is kind of hard to do anyway, getting your eyes messed up and stuff. But, um, <laughs> But it'll be nice to have some interactive stuff, some interviews on there, and, and different different type of uh, 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 media on there that I think will hopefully pull people in and, and make the magazine more enjoyable, as well as having the CE stuff that we've done in the past and, and things that benefit our members. 